Today we're going to show you how to change the impeller and seal kit on your dishwasher. That's a really easy job. All we're going to need is a 5 16 and quarter inch nut driver. We'll also need a flat blade screwdriver and a Phillips screwdriver and a pair of pliers. Let me show you how we do it. Now to do this repair we will need to access the bottom of the dishwasher. So if it's a portable unit we simply need to make sure that we have it disconnected from the power supply and then remove any items that are on the racks and then just pull it out onto the floor lay it on its back and then we can access the pump. If it is a built-in model, we will need to turn off and disconnect the inlet water supply. We'll need to turn off and disconnect the power supply, and then we'll have to unattach the mounting brackets to the cabinets, pull the dishwasher out to a suitable working area, and then lay it on its back. Now with the dishwasher on its back, we now have access to the pump and motor assembly. So to do this repair, we're gonna next remove two wire harnesses, one to the motor, one to the drain solenoid. Then we're going to remove, then we're going to loosen the clamp to the sump area, which is on one end of the pump. That is a 5 16 hex head. And also the outlet from the pump to the center spray nozzle. It has a 5 16 Exit clamp on it, so we'll loosen that next. And then with a quarter inch, we'll remove the clamp on the drain return line. Now there's probably some water in that pump, so either have a towel or a container to catch any of that excess water. So we'll next remove that short hose. And then we're going to Lastly, remove the support clamp to the motor. It's held in place with a 5 16 hex head screw. So we'll loosen that, we'll lift the clamp arm free. And then we're going to just tilt that motor towards us to disengage it from the bottom of the tub. And then we can rock it back and forth to pull it out of the sump area. And now we can take that pump and motor and set it on a suitable work surface where we can change the impeller kit. Now that we have the pump and motor assembly on a suitable work surface, we'll begin the repair by first of all removing the cutter blade. So we'll need to unthread that counterclockwise and we'll have to hold the motor shaft at the same time. So just carefully slide a flat blade screwdriver into the back, being careful not to damage those fins, but that'll keep the motor from turning. And then with a pair of pliers, we'll just grasp that cutter blade and rotate it until you get it loose. And slide that off the end of the shaft and discard it. Next, we're going to remove the grater. Now, it is a left-hand thread. So using our flat blade screwdriver, we'll just put it up against one of those notches and give it a little tap to start it turning. As I said, it's a left-hand thread, so we'll turn it clockwise to loosen it. Remove that and discard it. Now next, we'll need to remove the wear ring retainer and the wear ring. So just with a flat blade screwdriver, we'll reach in here, pop those two pieces out, and discard those. Now next, we'll need to remove the impeller so again, we'll have to hold the motor shaft from turning. And then we'll just get hold of that impeller and spin it off. And remove it. Now our next step will be to remove the pump from the motor. So there are three Phillips screws that we need to remove. And then we'll just slide the pump off the end of the motor shaft. We'll set the motor aside. Now next we need to remove the seal from the pump. We're just going to push it out from the back side here. Use a flat blade screwdriver and just force it out through. And make sure that the whole seal comes out, including the little retainer around the outside of the bushing. Discard the old seal. 
And we're going to make sure that that area is nice and clean, free of any debris. And then we'll press the new seal into place. So we'll just lubricate that with a little bit of water just to make it slide in easier. And we'll just carefully press that straight in until it bottoms out. And then we can reinstall the pump assembly onto the motor. Now before we slide the motor through that new seal, we'll make sure that the shaft is clean. And if there's any rust or corrosion on that shaft, we'll need to sand that down so that it's nice and smooth and shiny. And then we'll carefully slide that through the seal. And then we'll reinsert the mounting screws. And we'll insert all three screws before we tighten any of them. Now we can tighten them all securely. Now we're ready to install the impeller next. So again, we'll have to use our flat blade screwdriver to keep the motor shaft from turning. And we'll have to push that on far enough to compress the top of that seal. So there'll be a little bit of resistance from the seal first. You should be able to tighten that enough by hand, but if you're not comfortable with it, very carefully slide your pliers over that shaft, being careful not to damage the top portion of that shaft where the cutter blade is going to go on. And then we'll just engage the fins on that impeller just enough to snug that up. All right, next we'll put the wear ring in place and we'll insert it with the flange in facing towards the motor and just set that directly over top of the impeller. Next we'll put the wear ring retainer in and we'll line up the four notches with the slotted openings on the wear ring itself. And that should sit flush if you have it properly inserted. Next we'll install the grater and again it has a left hand thread so we're going to turn it counterclockwise to tighten it. It needs to be on fairly snug, so we'll use our flat blade screwdriver and just very carefully tap that and do that in a couple of positions just to make sure that we have it on there nice and snug. And you can rotate back and forth on different tabs. And don't use too sharp a flat blade screwdriver that you actually damage those tabs. Now we're ready to install the cutter blade and when installing it we'll make sure that we take the protrusion of the hub on that cutter blade towards the motor. And start that by hand, turn it clockwise. Now we'll use our flat blade again at the back of the motor to keep it from turning. And then with a pair of pliers we're just going to snug that up. And now we're ready to put the pump and motor assembly back in the dishwasher. Now, to reinstall, we'll first insert it into the housing at the end of the pump. And then we're going to carefully insert it into the tube protruding from the bottom of the tub until it bottoms out. And then we'll tighten both of those clamps. Then we'll reconnect the wire harnesses. and the mounting strap for the motor. Make sure that screw for the mount is nice and secure. Now we're ready to stand our portable dishwasher back up or put our built-in unit back into the cabinets.